my dear students i welcome you all to enjoy the activities from the chapter combustion as you know combustion it's a chemical process in which the substance it reacts with the air or oxygen and releases heat and light energy so the process in which the substance reacts with the air or oxygen uh, or burns in the air or oxygen to release heat and light energy it is called combustion and the substance or the material that undergoes combustion it is called a combustible material or combustible substance in this activity we will watch uh, the three conditions necessary for combustion out of which the first activity we will uh, watch over here the presence of the combustible material that means for combustion to take place we need to have the presence of combustible material we will be checking one by one all the materials to see whether the substance is combustible or non combustible the first substance i have taken over here is aluminium foil this is a metal and i am keeping it on the flame let's see if it catches fire or not see i have kept it over the flame it is not catching fire that means aluminium foil is not a combustible material it is a non combustible material now i will be taking the wood that is the pencil shaving let us see that the wood or the pencil see how brilliantly it is it has caught fire so that means wood it is a combustible substance next i am taking this iron nail i am putting it over the flame now we can see that it is also not catching fire so that means this is also a non combustible material now i will be taking this match stick the tip of the match stick students it contains phosphorus so let's see whether the phosphorus it is a combustible material or non combustible material see it has caught fire immediately that means phosphorus it is a combustible material then the wood is also burning which we have already shown it to you it is also a combustible material next item i am taking is a piece of cloth this is a piece of cloth let's see what happens when i am keeping it over the flame see it has also caught fire so that means a piece of cloth it is also a combustible material next a piece of paper a piece of paper it has also caught fire so it is a combustible material now i am taking some straws that means the dry grass this has also caught fire so this is also a combustible material let me take now a piece of glass in the form of a marble see it is not catching fire so that means it is an example of non combustible material so in this activity we have seen that aluminium foil iron nail glass they are non combustible materials whereas wood paper cloth straw phosphorus these are the combustible materials so this is the first condition for the required for combustion that is presence of combustible material with the help of this activity student we will verify the second condition required for combustion for this we have taken these three candles in the the first candle we ha we have over here it has a sufficient supply of oxygen around so that is why the flame is uh, is glowing very brightly now in the second candle i am putting a chimney over here which is open from both the sides so when i will keep this over the second candle it will reduce the oxygen level to some extent and we will see that the uh, flame it will start flickering so we can now see in the middle candle the flickering has started in the candle flame because now it has a limited supply of oxygen so let's see for the third candle i am covering this candle with a glass to stop the supply of oxygen and see 
the flame it extinguishes the fire has stopped this means that we require air for the combustion process that means oxygen is required for combustion so the second condition required for combustion is presence of supporter of uh, supporter of combustion that is oxygen in this activity dear students we will see that the third condition required for combustion is that the temperature of the combustible substance it should reach its ignition temperature students ignition temperature it is also known as kindling temperature it is the lowest temperature at which any substance it catches fire so let us see i am taking again over here a paper let's see how much time it will take to reach to its ignition temperature and start burning see it has started burning that means its ignition temperature is quite low right so now i am taking again a piece of paper over here but there is a difference now i have taken a wet piece of paper over here now let's see whether it will take the same time to burn over here on the flame or not see it is taking more time to burn it's not burning now it has started burning and the combustion process it is at a slower rate as compared to the earlier one the reason over here is again the ignition temperature what we have done over here over here we have taken a wet paper that means it contains water so the heat this paper is absorbing most of that it is transferred to the water that means the water present in the paper it is absorbing that heat energy from the flame to get converted into the vapor phase that means the paper is not getting that much enough heat to reach to its ignition temperature and that is why it has taken time to start burning so this is the third condition required that is the temperature should reach its ignition temperature only then the substance should start catching fire otherwise it will not catch fire if the temperature is not reached to its ignition temperature this is the reason why if i take the dry leaf this is a dry leaf from a garden see it has burned instantaneously because its ignition temperature was very low since it was dry but now i am taking a wet leaf wet leaf means a green leaf this green leaf which i have taken it contains moisture so let's see see it is not burning instantaneously because the water present in it it is absorbing heat and the ignition temperature is not reaching until the ignition temperature will reach it will not start burning so this is the role of ignition temperature which is the third condition required for burning it is not burning because its ignition temperature has not reached it will start burning only when its ignition temperature will reach it has a lots of moisture in it present in it so the water is absorbing all the heat and that is why it is not burning so that's why you can boil water in a paper cup the paper cup empty paper cup will burn but the paper cup which will contain water it will not burn because all the heat will be absorbed by that by that water so next example i will be taking again a cloth a dry cloth this is a dry piece of cloth it will burn instantaneously because its ignition temperature is low whereas if i take a wet cloth this is a wet cloth see it's not burning because all the heat the it is getting from the flame it is absorbed by the water not by the cloth so this is a trick 
that the wet cloth it is not burning because ignition temperature has not reached so today we have done the three activities showing that there are three conditions required for combustion first presence of combustible material second the supporter of combustion that is oxygen should be there for combustion and the third one that the temperature of the combustible material should reach its ignition temperature then only the combustion will take place thank you